Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Gidget, and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Gidget's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we use while we're working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six-foot web training leash, and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go to the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Gidget's been fitted with her own personal training collar, and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Gidget is seated on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first command they'll demonstrate is healing, which is proper walking on a leash. And Fred and Gidget take off doing that now. The command you want to use for this is Gidget heal, and then you start walking and she'll fall right in line on your left hand side. We've also gone ahead and incorporated our sit command into this. So anytime Fred stops his feet, Gidget will sit. There's an example there. Now it's important when you're healing Gidget that she walks at your pace on your left hand side without trying to pull ahead of you or lag behind. If she did attempt to pull ahead or lag behind, say no, give a tug and let go correction to the training collar, repeat the command to heal, and then start walking again. Now the next command they'll demonstrate is our stay command, which is a hand and voice command. Fred will use the open stay. flat of his left palm, an inch or so from Gidget's muzzle, and the one word command to stay. He walks out to the end of the training leash. Now this is a good exercise to build up that self-control in Gidget. Nope, she dropped into a down, so Fred's going to repeat the command. Stay. Brings her back, gives her the stay again, back out to the end of the leash. Now you want to build up that self-control in her, so start practicing this one at about 30 seconds time, and build yourself up in increments until you get to about 3 minutes. Now as Fred returns back to Gidget, he's going to walk all the way around her, providing an added distraction as he goes behind, and right back to that left-hand side heel position. She holds that sit stay throughout. He gave her a little praise and then healed her right out of it. And he's just going to show you a little more of the heel sit and stay. And there's that automatic sit. There's the sit again. And as he comes back up front, he'll show you the stay one more time. Stay. He's in the sit, he gives her the stay, out to the end of the leash. This time we'll give her a second to hold this position and he'll demonstrate our come or recall command instead of returning back to her. Come. He's going to call her in using her name. She gets right up, comes into him, sits in front. And then we have a move called the finish. Fred's going to heal her right around the back of him and gets her right back to that proper left hand side heel position and she'll sit. He'll demonstrate that recall one more time. Has her in a sit, gives her a stay, out to the end of the leash. Gives her a second to hold it. And then calls her right in using her name. She gets up, comes in, sits in front. And then the finish, he's going to heal her right around the back of him. And right back to that proper left hand side heel position and she sits. Nicely done. It's a good time to remind you you want to practice all your commands with Gidget about 15 to 20 minutes a day. And you can practice inside or outside your home and just incorporate the commands into your daily routine with her. And next up is going to be our down commands. The first one's down from a heel position. Fred will use the open flat of his left palm straight down to the ground and the one word firm command to down. He gives her a stay. Walks out to the end of the training leash. Another great exercise to build up self-control. You can start practicing this one at about a minute's time and work your way up in increments until you get to about three to five minutes. Now as Fred returns back to Gidget, he's going to walk all the way around her just as he did on the sit stay and right back to that left hand side heel position. She holds that down throughout, he gives her a little praise and then heals her right out of it. <clears throat> I'll show you that down again when he comes back around. Now you see Gidget's doing very well, but it's always important to follow through with your commands. So if you give her a command and she does not respond, the first word out of your mouth is always going to be no, followed by a tug and let go correction, and then you're going to repeat the command you'd given her. Fred's going to show you the down again, hand straight to the ground, one word command to down, then he gives her a stay and walks out to the end of the leash. This time he gives her a second to hold this one and he'll demonstrate that come or recall command right out of the down position. Come. Calls her in using her name, she gets right up, comes into him, sits in front, and then the finish, he heals her right around the back of him and gets her right back to that proper left hand side heel position and she sits nicely. Good job. Right, we'll give them a second to get lined up for our final obedience command, which is down from a distance. Yeah. 
This will be the down from a distance. You're going to have her in a sit, give her a stay, walk out to the end of your leash. This is the only time we use our right hand to give the command, and Fred will drop her into a down from the end of the training leash. He then returns back to her once again, walking all the way around, and right back to that left hand side heel position. Nicely done. Yeah. Alright, we've demonstrated for you our basic obedience commands that we've been working on with Gidget while she's been here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Gidget, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.